Alright guys, um, I've just been down a rabbit hole of trying to work out what's wrong with um, Apple TV, third generation, and the troublesome two-factor authentication. Um, I've just gone down um, a lot of the forums on Apple TV and geez, there's, there's a lot of confusing information out there, particularly with regards to two-factor and having to enter, you know, the, the, the six-digit in addition to a password and that seems to be all obsolete information. Um, this is me just explaining what happened in my case. So I was running, so this is just a screenshot I've got up generic. I um I have Pi Hole running and I found that there were some critical URLs that were being blocked. So I was able to sign in as a um, into the iTunes area or the iCloud area now, iCloud. Uh, but every time I went in to buy an app or update the app, it was any or just sign in, it wouldn't let me do anything. Um, it could not get past um, the login. And after I turned off Pi Hole, then it worked. So if uh, are there are any people out there, and I, look, I appreciate that there's a very troublesome, net, <laughs> complicated web of possibilities that could be your issue. Just if you do have this particular problem, just make sure you're not running any ad software between your Apple TV and your router. Um, in my case, it's a Raspberry Pi 4 running Pi Hole. Um, so anybody out there that may have somebody else that set something up that does that, just check with them and make sure that that's not um, performing any kind of ad blocking. Okay, there you go. Hope it helps. Look at I, I, as I said, I appreciate it. Probably won't because um, it basically means you need to be running Pi Hole. Um, but there are a lot of users of this out there, so cheers. Oh, good luck, by the way. God, I need to go to bed.